Hey there, Steve here, hope you're doing well, and welcome to another episode of Steal This Chord Progression, where I teach you a chord progression, and feel free to take it away and use it for your own songwriting. For this episode, we have a 4, 1, 2, flat major 3 chord progression, and in the key of A major, it sounds like this. So this progression has this nice uplifting feeling and then suddenly we get this like uncertainty with this flat major 3 chord. So this is key to this progression. So it's important to know where it came from. The flat major 3 chord is borrowed from the parallel minor. In this case we're in the key of E major so the parallel minor is E minor. So if you count to the third degree in E minor you can see here we have a major 3 and this is G major. We refer to this as a flat major 3 chord because if you look at the key of E major we have a G sharp but we're using a G natural so in this case the G sharp has been flattened so that's why we say it is a flat major 3. So now I'll show you some lovely examples of how you can use this chord progression and I'm going to stick to the key of E major for this one but I encourage you to experiment with different keys. So one really creative way you can use this flat major 3 is to bring it into an already established chord progression and just to give it a sudden uneasy feeling you know your ears are used to hearing this progression and then suddenly you get this flat major 3 added in and it can create some wonderful tension. Uh, so here's an example of that. So the next thing I'll show you is how we can change these chords to being more open chord sounding. So you know like we can play at the top of the neck here and they sound great for when strumming in clean. So we start with an A major 7 which is our 4th. Then we go to our 1st, we're going to play an E major 7. Then we're going to play an F sharp minor 7. We have the high E string ringing. And then lastly, we're going to play a G major 7. And again, you can have that E string ringing. And to take that a step further, you can do something wonderful. You can play these chords as arpeggios, so pick through the chord notes individually. We can harmonize this in thirds to create this really awesome sounding um, arpeggio kind of section that you would more likely hear in like progressive styles of math rock. And the last thing we can do is invert the E major chord, so the second chord in the progression, to start on a G sharp. So here's an E major chord, for example. The second note, the third, is G sharp. So we can start here instead. And then we can get this descending line. So if we have our A chord, and then uh, our E chord, we're starting on the third. And then F sharp, and then G. So here's a bunch of chords I threw together to make that chord progression. So instead of an ascending feeling, we have more of a descend feel with this one. And if you just play these as three note variations, so for example, this A major 7, the inverse, second inversion of E major, F sharp minor, and then G major. 
if you apply just a little bit of gain to them or lots of gain, depending on how much gain you like, gain for you, gain for everybody, um, just gain, um, gain. So um, put the gain on there and then create the, the strumming ideas and you can come up with some really cool sounding things like this. Right, so that's everything. I hope you enjoyed that lovely chord progression. Uh, let me know what you think down below and if you have any other suggestions for this chord progression that is always welcome and wonderful. If you enjoyed the video then um, well thank you that's all I ask for really uh, but if you want to go a step further and consider supporting the channel that would be lovely. There's some links for down there's links down below in the description to do that and um, as always you can see your uh, lovely names here if you are a Patreon of the channel. As always I want to say thank you very much for watching this video, thank you very much to the patrons that are supporting the channel and my work and I'll see you again in the next video. Goodbye.